so there should be a plan how you are going to finance uh, over initial part of the business right initial part of the business so you make that risk at the very beginning you should have some money uh, your own money or you have saved or you have bank loan uh, no you borrow from the friends that thing is a commitment anyway so there is a risk with that whether you will be successful or not some actually resign from their employment opportunities they work for some organization resign and start the business with that there is a risk likewise actually we can discuss the risk in different way anyway those should be uh acceptable or those should be uh, challenging for uh, i would say that mean if a person want to start a business those uh, those risks should be able to accept by them even though those are challenge right uh, so there are no many uh, individuals who are accepting such risk because they wanted to be in the uh, comfortable zone comfortable zone what is the comfortable zone they wanted to be at least uh, that in the, our, our university graduates they want to at least to be an instructor at the vta have a monthly salary and survive uh, or teach in the school in the village and survive and even myself i wanted to work for organization i am not uh, uh, thinking about the starting any businesses because i am very much comfortable with my salary it is more than enough for me to survive uh, so we are not thinking right you guys are not thinking to do a do a, at least a small startup because you want to just somehow settle and help uh, your yeah, colleagues and stay very comfortable life uh, so if that monthly income is blocked due to some reason then you are in trouble so with that you, you even you like to join with the government many even many including me like to join with the government employment because there is no risk with that during the covid situation it is a good evidence although many organization private organization reduced the salaries not salaries basic salaries were given but allowances they cut down right almost all almost all they did uh, but government employments they just survive very safely no any issue yet so that is that is the comfortable so we are having the monthly salary we survive according to that so in actually in uh, some cases there some lost the job some lost the job in that case what did they do they at least started something themselves that is a good initiative anyway once they lost the job opportunities in the private sectors right they took that opportunity to start something their own maybe not very large thing but they started something their own that mean i wanted to raise some are in the comfortable zone until they are in the comfortable zone they are not looking at any business opportunities or entrepreneurial initiative uh, however if they lost the job or if there is nothing to do uh, rather than doing a business or initiatives actually typical business or i would say entrepreneurial thing is little different right you just have idea about that not just a business entrepreneurial initiative uh, then it is always we are pushed to do that uh, with our inborn no our interest is interest are uh, heavily influence on that right so those are the those such individuals are the risk takers eventually actually if someone is doing a entrepreneurial or uh, initiate some entrepreneurial stuff though they are the risk takers 
definitely they are risk takers just talk with them you can learn a lot because they always think how to develop themselves how to do something for the others always they think that uh, because of me there are three four families surviving because of me that mindset is there with them although they accept and uh, they accept the risk right so let's move forward that is the overall understand with the risk that i wanted to just share uh, right uh, here there are some uh, more definitions what is uh, entrepreneurial risk taking risk taking uh, it is the act or fact of doing something that involves danger right there is something danger ahead if you are going to do something right risk taking even when we are driving or when we driving over the road there is a risk some some are not accepting that risk because of that they are not driving right even uh, some cases actually very uh, yeah that that way you can understand that mean people are not willing to accept the risk then they are not driving right anyway uh, if there is a danger danger ahead and if someone is willing to accept that that means risk take second point risk taking is almost synonymous with entrepreneurship so that means if there is an entrepreneur he is a risk taker right if there is a risk taker usually inborn characteristic then that person will be entrepreneur in the future right there are some people right when once they talk you can just realize ah this bugger is will do something in the future that thing is there that habits is there with those individuals to start and support your own business you will have to put your career personal finance even your mental health at stake you can understand right that mean you just give up your career right you put some money you think a lot you are under stress while you are working for some other organization right while you are working for some other organization always if there is a problem you can go to the boss and complain you can go to the boss and complain then your immediate boss will complain to complain to the next boss that boss will complain to the next one finally it will be raised to the owner of the business or ceo the question will be raised then ceo should answer to that question right then ceo is the entrepreneur actually. then once you leave the that organization and start your own business if there is a question in the business or your entrepreneurial initiatives is there anyone to answer those questions no there is no anyone to answer your questions you have to answer all the questions faced by your employees employees for well, those who are working under you they are raising the question in the similar way you raise from uh your boss when you're working for some other organization right so once you start the business so it is very much stressful mental health stress there is because of that right always uh, uh, this is stressful some people are not accepting that because of uh, that uncomfortable uh, mental situation yeah some jobs actually still although we are not one of the business we are in stressful because of the heavy workload or something something like that however that this situation is different when when we are responsible for many when we are responsible for many we have to answer them uh, so situation is uh, somewhat Uh, not in the comfortable so then says risk is the 
probability that entrepreneur is able to successfully turn an idea into opportunity. Yeah, if the, the ideas become the opportunity, that means in business environment, uh, you just uh, have some idea, then you just think the possibility of executing that idea around the business environment, which is introduced as the opportunity. So the success of the business, you may come up with the figure, 70% of success, 80% of the success, right? That is the probability based on the intuitive understand. You cannot do proper market survey or you can do the proper market survey with related to the similar product, but you can't do the market survey for something happen in the future. So partly you just make the decision based on your intuitive understanding. Right. Then finally, risk taking uh, propensity is an individual's current tendency to take or avoid uh, risk. So propensity means uh, just like a nat natural tendency, right? Natural, naturally, uh, people are accepting the risk. That's what uh, risk taking propensity of uh, is an individual's current tendency. That means if someone is naturally willing to accept the risk, mm -hmm. yeah, it says uh, risk taking propensity is an individual's current tendency to take or avoid risk. That means uh, individuals uh, made that decision themselves whether uh, they accept the risk or avoid the risk, take the risk or avoid the risk uh, by themselves uh, naturally. That means they just, uh, it comes inside, right? If you make or not, uh, particular decision, whether they are going to continue with that or not, that comes inside, right? So moral decision, something like that, right? Some are just declining. It is also based on the moral decision. That means demotivation that we are not in, we are not ready to do something. That decision is always fair enough because no need to accept the unnecessary body, burden, but on the other hand, always accept to re, uh, accept to have the risk as well uh, to be very much successful. Then ERT, ERT means entrepreneurial risk taking, right? Our topic. Uh, so importance of the topic today, identifying the risk, present and future risk, Identification of risk mitigation strategies, how we are going to mitigate the risk. Mitigation means reduce the level of the risk. If the risk is 70%, uh, we want to make it 60%, 40%. What we can do for that, right? Revisit the, entrepreneur, revisit the entrepreneurial decision. That means whatever the decisions, we have to look in, looked at it again. So we have to actually not, should not take the individual decision at most of the time. We better consult some expertise before making decision because those are very huge impact. Those decisions uh, made huge impact in the future for the businesses. So revisiting me, looked into the, those business decision and uh, change accordingly as per the opinion of the others or experts. Uh, actually, I, I never recommend you to do it yourself, sitting at a one place and think yourself and plan do everything yourself because it is one-sided. It is one-sided. It will not be very comprehensive, right? If you want, just do it and see 
you may later realize if i did if i do that in the some other way that might be more successful right that sort of uh, understanding or that sort of uh, yeah uh, you if you realize such experience then it is not right it is not right because you have not done right thing at the very beginning so always at least talk with your good friends those are genuinely help you and uh sign your proposal sign your understand provide insights on risk involved in entrepreneurial decisions right provide insights insights me kangada uh what will be happen with this like this that means the background information uh once we making the decision what will be happen with those initiatives right so with the risk management you identify the risk analyze the risk do some action monitor and control the risk so that image describe the different stages of the risk no need to remember by heart what are the stages but you should have some intuitive understand what is happening with the risk management right in the actually computer network or information security environment also we just talk about the risk management very well uh, because uh, always whatever the system that we are going to introduce uh, physically there are third party interceptions third party interception so so that is different from this approach this is about the risk with related to the uh, entrepreneurial decision making right uh, so with but the similar concept applied likelihood of exploiting threat is the common phrase with the information security here also likelihood of uh exploiting threat can't be used but likelihood of success likelihood of success or likelihood of failures can be considered as a percentage which means to you the success or failure of the business right <clears throat> then types of risk related to the entrepreneur so different researchers have drawn up different types of risk related to the entrepreneur so you have talked few previously these are the research finding economic risk uh, the first row a bird 1989 race economic risk risk in social relationship risk in career development psychological risk health risk those are the list those are in the list as per the bird but the 2017 there are four actually some are similar economic risk is similar to the finance risk uh, then career risk again that was there in some other terms family and social work it is also there Psy uh, psychic risk that also they are in the previous list and we also commonly talk about uh, those so family and social risk um, even political risk uh, can be considered under the social aspects and marketing uh, risk uh, that you mentioned maybe yeah maybe in which category we can incorporated just think about that actually this uh, i think this list uh, yeah marketing risk with related to the marketing career risk is not there family social not there psych uh, psychic risk it is also not there under the 
marketing i think uh, we can somehow incorporate it in, with the financial risk because due to the financial limitation people are not doing the marketing uh, finally the even we spend some money we are not gain the equal return uh, or fair enough return uh, through the improvement through the marketing right uh, so such initiatives we can uh, raise um, under the marketing uh, so that thing can be put somewhere actually whatever the risk that you find somehow you can convince it into the uh, given categories it, if the given categories are comprehensive enough right these research findings actually comprehensive enough otherwise those are not published uh, so these findings are from the seminal paper that mean uh, seminal paper means uh, mm, those papers have uh, had uh, have made great impact to the uh, the literature those are the seminal paper we are publishing papers but those are not seminal paper we just publish and get the research allowance from our salary then just forget it that is our pattern to be frank anyway we as lecturers we should do much research but time does not permit because uh, as you know we are i'm just working head coordinator and there is no even manage and management assistant allocated for us all for all three departments same even dean uh, there is no permanent one actually my one was shift with him uh, however there are uh, due to that we were not able to do some research publication uh, but uh, good researchers i'm not in the, that group publish the papers which are referred by the uh research after that finally once the particular paper is referred by the many other authors after that that particular paper becomes a seminal paper that means that particular paper had impact the few uh, researchers after that so these findings are also from some sort of a main, mainly cited papers so we can rely on this information so last column it is about the price credit and theories so which is um, focusing in broad terms where is in the entrepreneurial journey right so i think you can understand those things as you have already covered some aspects of the entrepreneurial uh, things uh, so far this is the lesson before the last one uh, so here also there is some sort of explanation uh, about the different types of the risk uh, type categories right first it says yeah uh, it says uh, clarify need for decision define the problem generate and evaluate the alternatives select the best alternative implement the selected alternative reflect from the feedback actually these are the entrepreneurial entrepreneurial decisions in the blue color uh, boxes then it says uh, with all these stages there are different types of risk in the clarify need for decisions that means you need to have more information to make the decision. Uh, so depending on the information that you are collect, that means before starting a business, you may just look into the statistic available. How about the different sales uh, or what are the available opportunities? So you just do some data collections. Clarify whether that idea is strong so you just collect some data and make the decision but you don't know whether you have covered 100 percent of the context definitely you are not covering 100 uh, percent but you don't know whether you have covered enough to make that decision right so you just pick the limited number of data points and make the decision 
which are not strong enough to make the right decision but you have already made the decision so with that in that stage there is a risk define the problem right if you want to define the problem to introduce the solution as the entrepreneurial thing based on the problem will be defined based on the data collected then actually if the right source this is the in, this is the input for the input for the defining the problem if this thing is not right then input is wrong input is wrong so defining the problem or define problem is not right define problem is also not right because it is based on the wrong collection of data right i'm just talking about the negative side where uh, where it is problematic right negative side where it is a problematic or where there is a risk right define the problem once define the problem generate and evaluate alternatives generate and evaluate alternatives right generate and evaluate alternatives uh, that means as a solution you may come up with the different opinions discussing or brainstorming to finalize so all decisions are based on the inputs that you are bringing right all the and that mean that once you have alternatives you just evaluate them based on the your inputs with that there might be risk select the best alternative the best possible solution it with that also there is a risk implement selected alternative implementation process also there is a risk reflect from the feedback with the feedback also whatever the reflection might not be 100% true with that there can be risk likewise whatever the stages with related to the entrepreneurial decisions all the stages are accompanied with some form of risk some form of risk okay so moving forward cognitive based biases in entrepreneurial decisions cognitive biases mean cognitive mean uh, our brain power that means moral decision yes. in entrepreneurial decision cognitive biases overconfidence if you are overconfident illusion of control belief in law of small number uh, i think all, all these are just uh, without having any ba basis just uh cognitive biases that mean you think that this is right then perception is uh, perception then decision venture creation decision that mean you always willing to accept the risk i will do that and see that mindset this thing happen whereas you have overconfidence about the initiative check it uh, right illusion means the false idea or belief that mean uh, uh, control is based on the false idea then with that uh, that mean what, whatever the uh, illusion uh, of control mean that mean you have a greater understand uh, that you would be able to manage the things with the new initiative that means you rely on the many others you can't do a business alone right uh, if you are just introduced the uh, software development initiatives uh, product then uh, you may think that uh, due to that uh, covid situation thing uh, educations institutes are moving towards the online teaching platforms i'm going to uh, develop a tool for that maybe collaborating to i don't just come up with the major situation but uh, you just come up with that understand 
because you have a great contact with the higher education minister then through through him i can uh, share it among the schools then i can have the at least cover the cost with related to the developing the tool that is the example for illusion of control that means you think that you have enough control where you can implement the business successfully uh belief in loss of small numbers that mean we just believe uh, about starting is small uh, and develop accordingly some sort of understand is there then perception the way we think it should be the risk perception so with this background we just accept the risk and move forward venture creation decision that mean you are going to start a small uh, or um, going to start a venture business right so that is the moral aspect cognitive biases so with that actually no much uh, information to make that decision always it just rely on the individuals uh, understand right individuals understand uh, then we will move forward with the risk and uncertainty risk and uncertainty decision making known chance in uh, measurable probability risk then the other hand indeterminable chance uh, unmeasurable prob probability uncertainty then always there is a moment or the possibility of uncertainty or risk risk can uncertainty right that mean you know these things will be happen with that you put the some probability right this thing will be happen maybe possibility is 10% right so these things are risk you can be ready for them but the for example this covid it is not a risk actually it is a some sort of uncertainty due to the pandemic situation we had to face many things that have never planned i think this lockdown situation had happened maybe 100 years ago no one had that experience also new uh, so with that many things were happen introducing that uncertainty situation so risky stuff become the uncertainty uncertainty stuff become risky after some time the but both are negatively influence on the business right risk are mainly uh, as outcome of the known stuff uncertainty is, uh, is as outcome of the uh, unknown stuff right not predictable things however once you get to know about the things that mean now you know what is covid and how it behave then some are actually risk now covid more than one year now we know that things will be more something which is not favor to the individuals population so when we are making risk we should not in that uh, unknown chance category we are in the known chance now we know the covid so we should be very careful before starting a business how we are going to tackle with the future lockdowns possible covid situations uh, as it is a known chance but at the very beginning it is unknown the uncertainty is just there but now it is it can be considered as a risk Right. So, 
narrowing down gap by entrepreneurs. I think we uh, narrow down the gap in between the risk and uncertainty. Risk and uncertainty. There is a gap in between the risk and uncertainty. So we are going to narrow down uh, that gap because uh, risks are much better than uncertainty uh, because it is observable we can have some understand what is going to happen with all that it is understand then innovativeness is must to reduce that gap opportunity seeking need for achievement uh, reduce that gap right so under the inno innovativeness you always focus about introducing something in very much creative manner where your customer domain will be attracted. Find certainty within uncertainty. So eventually the certainty within uncertainty. Domain is uncertain. Business context is uncertain. But due to your innovativeness, you are in the certain situation. So actually, I recently watched that, that Block and Dino video. Did you watch? Lassana Flora has started a food uh, goods delivery, no? Lassana, cannot remember. Uh, just watch that, right? Block and Dino's video. Funny one. Uh, that means they are moving from uncertainty to certainty. Huh? Lassana.com uh, Lassana.com, I cannot remember. Anyway, that is initiated uh, the Lassana Flora, they are doing the flower business. They have initiated that uh, food delivery, uh, delivering the foods, uh, goods, actually, goods. So they move from uncertainty to certainty because that they are way of addressing that COVID situation, right? I am sure that COVID situation will not be over even though that vaccination process is effectively placed, but there are risk. There is a risk. People are reluctant to move. Not sure actually, you know, take the, so far we found four within these two, three days. Today's Thursday, no? Yeah, from Tuesday, we heard at least one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So people may not move. So that is some sort of uncertainty situation. So through that, some certain stuff actually soon. Soon might be the very success story during the COVID situation. They Earn a lot. Keep continuing. Looking at uncertainty in a different perspective. So some people actually get that opportunity. So although there is some sort of uncertainty due to the COVID situation, they just looked into some opportunity. That's a very good example. Food delivery initiatives and online teaching, teaching initiatives, lots of private universities now move with the online teaching. I think they will continue that approach, although COVID situation is moving away. At the same time, software industry also, they even give the equipment, tables, chair, laptop, and deliver to the uh, employees home and monitor them properly and get their work done. It is actually much more cost effective as well because they no need to rent out buildings. Rent out buildings because people are working home. No need to pay for city, air condition, maintenance. Software businesses we can run in that way, right? Just pay 
or give alarms for internet. Some companies actually uh, WSO2 or 99X, even they had provided furnitures, computing table, things like that. They already provided the laptop. Then they got or move into the different level of the business, right? Even education industry, I think now the online PhDs, things will be open up because physically the boundaries are closed for New Zealand, Australia, those countries. So they may allow for online PhDs, but they will monitor and be with touch. That means full-time basis. Full-time basis, remote man. If even they can think of uh, such initiatives because those things can be accommodated. It is just moving from uncertainty situation through uncertainty, uncertainty uh, context or the uncertainty context because of the innovative initiative. Opportunity seeking, detecting hidden opportunities detecting hidden opportunities during the natural disasters how do our objectives are achieved by the entrepreneurs yeah that means hidden there are some hidden opportunities right hidden opportunities hidden mean hidden that means you can't see it why you are not thinking on that you are not thinking on that basically we are also i also a little bit worry why we are just always say busy just either teach either do some administrative or either study or write research papers whatever the other work but we are not giving priority for some other opportunities right did that actually there is no true benefit with the commitment that we are making for something because we have lost the opportunities where we couldn't even touch upon. Right? One thing is I couldn't build my house because due to the COVID and busy schedule, I just postponed little by little. Uh, so I couldn't do that. Now I'm just thinking to buy one, but it is also not possible because of the uh, hiking prices. Mm, this is my personal thing, but just give me a second. Huh? Okay, so when you actually don't be one sided, that's what I wanted to say actually. When you have business idea or when you just do something, don't you have to focus up to some extent. Uh, but look into some other opportunities also. Actually, some guys, uh, even while they are doing the first uh, degree, they just found the uh, employment opportunity and they move with the B2 and continue the job and the degree. It is also good. but. Uh, I appreciate you guys being with the B1 because uh, otherwise there is no student for the B1. If you all want to move with the B2. So with that also, the there are some negative side doors also because once they join with the employment opportunities, they have very less focus with the studies but you have only these three years for studies if you focus a lot on the studies and good go for good grades or do some research work and publish then definitely you will have better future than those who move with the b2 because b2 students just work and earn some money and do the course but they have repeat subjects they just redo it there are different uh, cases right i have experienced that uh, they are little delayed to be graduated rather than B1 students because B1 students always focus on their studies. So it is sure that you can be graduated 
very soon uh, in the sense uh, even though u2 are p1 and b2 are sitting in the examination at the same time b2 students might not give the priority for examination stuff so they might uh, pass at uh, at first attempt but you can pass at the first attempt and finish the degree bit uh, sooner than then so then you find that as opportunity now it is time for studies i will finish with this i will finish with this and uh, do the job later that is also one way of looking at the opportunity so i'm not saying that join with the b2 and do the degree is an opportunity this is also opportunity actually having the opportunity to do the degree also very much remarkable because as far well as uh, you don't uh, you actually without this university you would not be able to do that right you, you are in the most of the you are in the nmq pathway you had not any pathway to be graduated uh, rather than uh, pass in the advanced level before 10 years now you have that nmq pathway to be graduated which is also opportunity right so there are many ways that we can think of opportunities so always don't think that although you are fair that mean at the moment i'm although i just uh, worrying little bit about my house construction and some other stuff i still happy because i finished my in my mba and i earned some reputation and did something uh, remarkable way so with that i may have a value so always focus on the good stuff and if there is some mistake that if you feel that you are not looking for opportunities properly then list uh, from today just look into the multiple opportunities and write down and focus on them then once it is the practice for you in your daily daily routings when you start the entrepreneurial journey in some day that will be a positive because you can find out the uh, whatever you want to execute so need for achievement may not be profit but something recognizable so always not the money even money is also okay but maybe customer domain maybe some other um, satisfaction as the providing solution for the problems so you may not heard that uber uber is loss making company but still they are running very smoothly because they have good brand uber is a good brand name still they, they just recovering the losses still uh, although lo not loss making they are in loss plus this recoverable one <clears throat> with that they continue so because of that opportunity they just continue now they are spreading over different countries and do their business they only have the application uber app. they don't have any vehicle right that is a very good business model like uh, pick me followed that up and pick me also now very much success in sri lankan context right big five perspective portion o4 opens to experience c4 uh, con sorry oh, god oh my disconnect my internet run the 